Welcome to this lecture on the Qi, a fundamental concept in acupuncture that has been revered in traditional Chinese medicine for centuries. The Qi, meaning obtaining Qi, or the arrival of Qi, describes the moment when an acupuncture needle elicits a distinct physiological response. Patients often report sensations of heaviness, tingling, warmth, or a spreading dull ache. While practitioners may feel a slight resistance or grasping sensation when inserting and manipulating the needle. In classical Chinese medicine, achieving the arrival of qi is considered essential for therapeutic efficacy. But what does modern science tell us about this phenomenon? Today, we will explore this phenomenon from a neurophysiological, biochemical, and biomechanical perspective, revealing how acupuncture engages the nervous system, modulates biochemical pathways, and influences connective tissue to promote healing and restore balance in the body. Let's begin with the neurophysiological mechanisms underlying qi arrival. When an acupuncture needle is inserted and manipulated, it stimulates A delta and C afferent nerve fibers, which are responsible for transmitting sensory and pain signals to the central nervous system. A delta fibers are myelinated and conduct signals rapidly, often associated with sharp or tingling sensations, while C fibers are unmyelinated and slower, transmitting dull, aching, or warming sensations. When qi arrival is elicited, these nerve fibers send signals to the somatosensory cortex, limbic system, and periaqueductal gray, regions of the brain associated with pain modulation, sensory processing, and autonomic regulation. This neurological activation helps explain why acupuncture is effective in pain relief, stress reduction, and emotional regulation. One of the key effects of qi arrival is the activation of the periaqueductal gray, a crucial structure in the brainstem that regulates pain through endogenous opioid release. The PAG sends inhibitory signals down the spinal cord, dampening pain perception by triggering the release of beta endorphins, enkephalins, and dynorphins, the body's natural painkillers. This mechanism is well documented in neuroscience and supports the long-standing observation that acupuncture, when qi arrival is achieved, has profound analgesic effects. Additionally, fMRI studies show that qi arrival stimulates the anterior cingulate cortex, hypothalamus, and insula, regions involved in pain perception, autonomic regulation, and emotional processing. This suggests that acupuncture's effects extend beyond local stimulation, influencing higher brain centers that regulate the body's overall response to pain and stress. Beyond its effects on the nervous system, qi arrival also triggers a cascade of biochemical changes that contribute to its therapeutic effects. Research has shown that acupuncture increases levels of serotonin and dopamine, two neurotransmitters critical for mood regulation, relaxation, and emotional stability. This is why acupuncture has been found to be effective in treating conditions such as anxiety, depression, and stress-related disorders. Additionally, Acupuncture with qi arrival has been shown to regulate norepinephrine and GABA, further balancing the autonomic nervous system and promoting a state of calm and equilibrium. Another important biochemical effect of qi arrival is the release of adenosine, a neuromodulator with potent anti-inflammatory and pain-relieving properties. 
Studies have found that acupuncture significantly increases adenosine levels in local tissues, which helps to reduce inflammation, enhance circulation, and promote tissue healing. Moreover, chi arrival influences the hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis, modulating cortisol levels and reducing excessive sympathetic nervous system activity. This effect explains why acupuncture can lower stress levels, regulate blood pressure, and improve sleep quality in individuals with chronic stress or insomnia. Additionally, acupuncture with chi arrival has been shown to regulate the immune system by reducing pro-inflammatory cytokines such as TNF-alpha and IL-6 while increasing anti-inflammatory cytokines. This immune modulating effect suggests that acupuncture may be beneficial not only for pain management but also for autoimmune conditions, chronic inflammation, and tissue repair. Now let's turn to the biomechanical mechanisms of qi arrival. One of the most fascinating findings in acupuncture research is how needle insertion and manipulation affect connective tissue and fascia. The human body is composed of a vast network of fascia, a continuous web of connective tissue that surrounds muscles, organs, and nerves. When an acupuncture needle is inserted and rotated, it mechanically interacts with the fascia, causing fibroblasts, the primary cells of connective tissue, to stretch and realign. This process, known as mechanotransduction, triggers biochemical signaling pathways that enhance circulation, reduce inflammation, and stimulate tissue repair. Studies using high-resolution ultrasound imaging have demonstrated that acupuncture creates a needle grasp phenomenon where the surrounding connective tissue wraps around the needle in a helical structure. This interaction leads to local microstimulation and mechanical stress that induces changes in cellular activity, promoting the release of nitric oxide. Nitric oxide is a potent vasodilator that increases local blood flow, delivering oxygen and nutrients to tissues accelerating healing, and reducing muscle tension. Furthermore, the mechanical stimulation from qi arrival influences myofascial tension, which can help explain acupuncture's effectiveness in treating musculoskeletal pain, fibromyalgia, and myofascial syndromes. By releasing tension in fascial planes, acupuncture restores normal movement patterns reducing pain and stiffness. With advancements in neuroimaging technology, researchers have been able to visualize the effects of qi arrival in real time. Functional MRI, fMRI, and PET scan studies reveal that when qi arrival is achieved, there is increased activity in the somatosensory cortex, anterior cingulate cortex, and insula, all of which are involved in processing pain, sensory perception, and emotional regulation. Additionally, EEG studies have shown that qi arrival shifts brainwave activity towards alpha and theta waves, which are associated with deep relaxation, parasympathetic dominance, and meditative states. These findings support the idea that acupuncture, when qi arrival is elicited, has systemic effects beyond local tissue stimulation. The ability of acupuncture to modulate pain perception, regulate autonomic balance, and influence emotional well-being underscores why it has been used as a therapeutic modality for thousands of years. One of the most well-documented neurochemical effects of acupuncture is its ability to influence serotonin, a key neurotransmitter involved in mood regulation, pain perception, and overall nervous system function.
Serotonergic neurons originate in the RAFE nuclei of the brainstem and project throughout the central nervous system, affecting regions critical for emotional stability, cognitive function, and sensory processing. Acupuncture has been shown to regulate serotonin levels by stimulating these neural pathways, contributing to its therapeutic effects on conditions such as depression, anxiety, and chronic pain. A significant part of acupuncture's serotonergic regulation occurs through its impact on the hypothalamic pituitary adrenal, HPA, axis and the autonomic nervous system. Chronic stress and dysregulation of the HPA axis are known to suppress serotonin synthesis while increasing cortisol levels, leading to mood disturbances and heightened pain sensitivity. Acupuncture has been demonstrated to reduce HPA axis hyperactivity, thereby mitigating excessive cortisol release and supporting serotonin balance. At the same time, acupuncture enhances vagal tone, shifting the nervous system away from sympathetic overactivation and toward a parasympathetic dominant state, which further facilitates serotonin synthesis and release. This neurophysiological shift is why acupuncture is often recommended for stress-related disorders and mental health conditions. On a molecular level, acupuncture enhances serotonin availability by increasing the activity of tryptophan hydroxylase, the rate-limiting enzyme responsible for serotonin production. Acupuncture has been shown to modulate serotonin transmission in key regions such as the hippocampus, amygdala, and brainstem, areas directly involved in emotional regulation and cognitive processing. By restoring balance within these networks, acupuncture not only alleviates symptoms of depression and anxiety, but also improves sleep patterns and stress resilience. In addition to mood regulation, acupuncture-induced serotonin release plays a vital role in pain modulation. Serotonin is a key component of the descending pain inhibitory system particularly in the periaqueductal gray region of the midbrain, where it interacts with opioid pathways to dampen pain perception. Acupuncture's ability to stimulate serotoninergic and endorphin-mediated pain inhibition helps explain its effectiveness in treating chronic pain conditions, including fibromyalgia, migraines, and neuropathic pain. This dual activation of serotonin and endogenous opioid release creates a powerful analgesic effect that extends beyond localized pain relief to systemic nervous system modulation. Beyond its immediate neurological effects, acupuncture's regulation of serotonin has long-term implications for neuroplasticity and neurogenesis. Serotonin plays a critical role in maintaining synaptic plasticity and supporting the growth and repair of neural circuits, particularly in the hippocampus, a region closely associated with memory and emotional processing. Acupuncture has been found to upregulate brain-derived neurotrophic factor, BDNF, a key neurotrophic factor involved in neuronal survival and plasticity. Through this mechanism, acupuncture may contribute to cognitive resilience, reduced neurodegeneration, and enhanced adaptability to stressors. From a traditional Chinese medicine perspective, this neurochemical regulation aligns with the classical concept of Shen stability and the harmonization of the heart and liver systems, which are deeply connected to emotional balance and mental clarity. In essence, acupuncture's ability to regulate serotonin provides a physiological basis for its role in emotional and neurological well-being, linking ancient wisdom with modern scientific insights. Thus, when we consider acupuncture's clinical effects on mental health, pain, and overall nervous system function, 
Its role in serotonin modulation is an essential piece of the puzzle. By rebalancing serotonergic pathways, influencing the autonomic nervous system, and enhancing neuroplasticity, acupuncture serves as a profound tool for both immediate symptom relief and long-term neurological health. The effects of acupuncture on serotonin and the nervous system are closely linked to the concept of the arrival of chi. In neurophysiological terms, the arrival of chi reflects a measurable activation of sensory afferent pathways, particularly A delta and C fibers, which communicate with the central nervous system and trigger the release of neurotransmitters like serotonin. This response not only enhances acupuncture's analgesic effects, but also facilitates broader neuromodulation, reinforcing its impact on mood, pain perception, and autonomic balance. Thus, the arrival of qi is not just an experiential marker in acupuncture, it signifies the physiological engagement of the nervous system, setting in motion the very processes that regulate serotonin and promote healing. To summarize, qi arrival is not just a subjective experience. It is a measurable physiological response involving neurological activation, biochemical modulation, and biomechanical engagement. When an acupuncture needle reaches an optimal depth and is manipulated correctly, it activates A, delta, and C afferent nerve fibers, stimulating the central nervous system and triggering endogenous pain modulation pathways. This leads to the release of endorphins, serotonin, dopamine, and adenosine, reducing pain, inflammation, and stress. Additionally, Mechanical interactions with fascia and connective tissue enhance circulation, promote tissue repair, and relieve musculoskeletal tension. Modern neuroimaging studies confirm that qi arrival activates brain regions involved in sensory processing, emotional regulation, and autonomic balance, providing scientific validation for acupuncture's profound therapeutic effects. In essence, qi arrival represents a complex and dynamic physiological process that bridges ancient wisdom with modern science. Understanding the mechanisms behind qi arrival not only deepens our appreciation of acupuncture, but also reinforces its role as an evidence-based medical intervention. Thank you for joining me in this lecture and I encourage you to explore how these scientific insights can be applied in both clinical practice and research.